G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jaboodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we're starting another week in our first experience in Undead Legacy. It is a little late in the day from when I normally try and start episodes, but for good reason. We've just come through the latest Blood Moon Horde, and wasn't a particularly great endeavor, if I'm being honest. We set ourselves on fire a little bit, the zombies got through a little bit, we broke the base a little bit, and just things went a little bit pear-shaped in, well, not a great way. Kind of like a soggy old rotten pear rather than a fresh, plump, juicy one, but it's all right. We're still here to talk about our <laughs> weird descriptors of fruit, and we're ready to go on and do all the things we need to do so the next Horde Knight goes a little bit better. This is kind of okay. I definitely saw some zombies trying to break through some other places, like right there, which is a little bit worrying, but I think we can manage it. But more importantly, I need to repair all my armor, repair my weapons, repair my tools, change over my gloves as well, and just get everything kind of in ship shape before I can take on the world again. It's a reasonably slow start to the morning, but all of my weapons are all nice and repaired again. Got my first aid bandos and all of my tools. So I made the same mistake I made last week where I just went gallivanting off into the wilderness with all of my Horde Knight gubs and my regular raiding gubbins. But I think I was on the right path yesterday with going and breaking down all the street lights with my hackers candy. I do have my wrench in here, but I just spent an iron plate to repair my wrench, but my ratchet, what I was actually trying to say, you can go in the box as well, but my ratchet, what are you doing? 49 for a cost of uh, 20, attack speed of 0.8, same attack speed, 41 for 17. So, ah, uh, you're actually a fair bit better. You're a fair bit better, fair whackers, but also when I break you, when you're all completely knackered, I can use you to upgrade my workbench to tier two. I do that. With the steel I get today, I can make myself the cement mixer. With the cement, I can actually upgrade my horde base, which is really just a couple of slabs put together and hopes and prayers. I can upgrade that to be a bit more resilient, and we can hopefully stand a better chance the next time around. Cool bananas, like bloody... Who's something like Gwen Stefani? I was going to say Iggy is that. It's definitely not that one. You can go away. Wrench can stay behind as well. Let's go get some more steel. What I should do, actually, before I get too distracted breaking down all of the platter for every last drop of resource that I do need. Chuck you them. I need to go and see Trader Potato and see if I can get a job from him. I am flat broke. I spent... $15,000 redos yesterday on various goods and services, although not really many services. Stripper titties is still as poor as I am, but I bought a whole bunch of stuff and I'm now destitute. So if I can get out there, get a couple of jobs from him, then I can hopefully make some more money back, repair my axe, and repair my Valk. And then, once that's done, I think it's probably more appropriate time to go breaking things down. The smiley robots, no longer my best friend. It's street lights or nothing these days. So why go do experiments? You know, try a little, little taster, like a charcuterie board. Go through, taste a little bit of everything before you end up just eating bloody <laughs> salami and cheese like every other day. Trady Rekt, I really wish you gave me a reward for... Oh, you have, you have no idea the horrors I saw last night. I'm only keeping myself up about that for a long time. It's why you don't sleep in seven days to die, because how the hell bloody could you? You just racked off on methamphetamines like you're bloody chewing your own nose off. You, do you have any jobs? Fetch, ooh, fetch and clear the cracker book. You know just how to get me excited there, don't you, Recty boy? All right, give me that one. Absolutely, lootly, I don't mind a cheeky cracker book raid, and I get the added bonus of it being a fetch and clear. It's like the perfect quest for me. I need books, I need SD cards, and I need cash. It's a three in one, triple threat. I do need to be aware, actually, today that it is Derpo Day. It's not trading restock day. That was yesterday. They're out of sync now, which is taking some getting used to. You have not. You have been raided before. I take it back. So it is Derpo Day today. Ooh, sneaky ATM, you working? You are working with, I can't afford to buy anything out of you right now anyway, which is a shame, but you do have some hackers, some skull crushes and eye candy and sugar butts. 400 bucks worth of snacks I'd love to take with me. Haven't even marked it down yet. So you, that one. So I know there's a vendor just there. I'll check you again later on. Uh, but yeah, I need to make sure I'm outside. I can see the sky when midday rolls around. I'm sick of losing Derpos to a tree or something getting in my face. We have been here before, so let's make this nice and quick. Tickle the point, and do you get reset as part of that? Yes, you do. Loot and gogs are on. You love to see it. What you gonna offer me this time around? Ooh, it's here. Ooh, it's, it's magenta. Gross. It's, it's more pink, I suppose, than magenta. But you, TB woodcutter's axe, worth a lot, but more importantly, a useful tool. Thank you very much. Uh, everything else here looks pretty normal. Was there something around the side of you, actually, though? I think there might have been. 
No. Okay. All right. Well, we're all good to crack on. Let's quickly flip over to the XP gogs to make the easiest work of this. There's one. Who are going to be in here somewhere? I've only got five crossbow bolts, and they're snapping every time I push them into a zombie's head, which is not particularly fun, but at least that's five, like, guaranteed kills. As long as I don't do something really silly. Like this. There. Nice. <laughs> Speaking of something really silly, don't put your dick in that, Josh. I know it's been a long time, but Jen's out there somewhere. She may have shacked up with someone new. That's no, no need to do something like that. Apparently, I'm just in a mood today. I... <laughs> Don't know what's gotten into me, but oh, we're here now, and we're just gonna have to deal with it as best we can. You didn't wake up. Now you're never gonna wake up. Oh, jeez. What am I firing? Bloody and bolt made of scimitars? Kind of brutal. I love the new decaps. I'm excited for when it's gonna be a thing for all of the zombies. That's all of the front room sorted. Chuck on the loot and gogs again and start ransacking the place. I don't need you, but I'll take you for later. Anything else around? Do the front room first and work our way back. No use biting off more than we can chew. So far, relatively so good. Found a couple of blank books. Ooh. I've already read you. You're all great out. And no start. I'm learning how the bloody UI works now. So I'm just going to both of you for SD cards. Yeah, a couple of books. A cold resistance book. But I don't have a couple of these like skill books back at home. I'm saving them for later, but nah, I think I'm just going to go and grab them and just harvest them all up. Uh, can I use... No, I have to use that to use my broken-ass axe on you. Yeah, just, like, use all of those things straight away. May as well get the benefit from them now, then save them for later and probably die trying. While my axe is still good, though, I'll quickly remember to grab you. I thought you were the same vent from the kitchen. I've kind of skipped over you every time I've come through, but there's the supplies I needed. Grab the hidden sash out of the ceiling as well. It's good. It's good. Finding good gums early makes me smile. Pop you open. I don't think there was anything else up there from memory. I think it's just the hidden stash and like a corpse. Leather hood. I will... You're worth a hundred smackers? You're at tier F. What am I currently rolling with then? So you're tier G. E, F, G. Yeah, okay. So that's currently better. Better condition and gives me more physical... The leather hood's better than a football helmet? There's a joke we made there about... <laughs> Some pretty dark topics. I'm going to let that one slide. All right, whack you into them. That's very interesting. Oh, get your bloody Ezio on. We're going full assassin spec. After some good finds early doors, it's starting, ooh, starting to slim down a little bit. Am I ever going to make myself iron armor? Nah, give me the SD cards. <laughs> Oh, well, like, my looting is actually, like, stemming the flow much better than I thought it would. I'm finding things that I want a whole lot more than I'm considering crafting, which, in fairness, is how I normally play seven days. Looting's just more fun than gathering resources and trying to put it all together in a workbench, but even so... Ooh, actually, can I... You didn't give me anything fun when I took you home. Can I, like, break you down, circuit board? What about you? What do you give me? You're particularly weak as well. My ratchet's is doing good work. Do you want to break it all completely? Just want to see what these things give. Circuit boards and electrical parts. Okay, probably fair enough. I'll leave the rest of these behind then. But yeah, like going out and looting and fighting stuff is so much more appealing to me. It actually seems to pay off in this mod a whole lot more than I thought it would. So, uh, <laughs> all's well that ends well for me, I suppose. Shotgun Messiah book. You can craft shotgun slugs. Only got the one, but I'll read you. Anything to get me better at shotguns is worth it. Think we're down to the last couple of shelves now. Another old book, of which I've found nine of them, actually, in this little endeavor. So that's really good. What do I need an old book for? Ooh, Night Stalker book. Blood weapons do 10% more damage at night. I'm going to go into swords. So yes, please. That's for future Josh. You are welcome. Not often I do things for future Josh. He normally just yells at me in the past. No. No, we're going full like bloody Emmett Brown with that one. <laughs> Whatever. More books. I needed books for something. In fact, I need them for everything ever anyway, so having extras is never a bad thing. Okay, yeah, no, I think we're done in the front room. Super corn seed recipe. I'll read one just in case and scrap the second one. It's nice not having to pine after S uh, SD cards so much. I can just go like, scrap them when I need them because I have so many back at home. Two more learning elixirs. I found another one. Yeah, I did earlier. So I've now got the next hordes worth of learning elixirs sorted. I might even pop one and do some upgrade to the concrete later on. But upgrading building materials. It's going to be so much effort. Although I suppose all I have been doing is just skipping the wood frame layer, um, which sucks because I like how I'm putting frames down so you can visualize the build, then upgrade from there. But that's not really something I can actually do in this mod. It's just way too expensive to do it that way. But yeah, I suppose if I go from... All right, everybody, calm your butt. Oh, jeez, how are you doing, superstar? But yeah, he competing in the long jump. It's not even bloody track day, but... Like that. 
May as well make use of all of the 792 rounds I have falling out of all of my orifices. Finish you off and finish you off. Cheers, knackers. God, I got a good load out these days. Scrap the bloody doorknobs and keep on pushing through. Uh, yeah, like, not being able to, like, visualize things before I build them is a problem, but just going brick to concrete seems like a much easier way and more, like, resource less intensive. I can do it easier without having to have a thousand nails. I really want the concrete, especially because I'm about to make myself my cement mixer, so actually harvesting up concrete pallets when I find them might actually start being a bit more of a priority than what they were before. I can still go back to the POIs. Uh, I'm running the right things. Ooh, submachine gun book. Oh, oh, geez, I almost pressed the scrap button by accident. I misclicked because there's a bit of a lag on the mouse, I think. I don't know. That's a pretty big misclick for me. I'm not great at the best of times, but that one was egregious. But yeah, I need to start harvesting up my, um, the concrete pallets if I'm going to be getting anywhere forward. Hello. Man, come on, Steel Club. I gave up my bat for you, and you're not that much better, if I'm being honest. I might have to, my stamina gets fucked as well. I might have to go back to true blue because this is, isn't tickling me anymore. I just don't think the steel club's all that. I can see one zombie there. Oh, that's the cicadas actually. I'm on the roof. Look at that timing that worked out perfectly. Don't drop it. You bastard. Don't drop it up the mountain is what I was going to say. That is, a, that is not a convenient drop site at all. I just want to watch it for a second to see if it drops on this side of the cliff or on the far side. Oh, boy. Okay, well, you quickly mark you as two, and where are you going to go? That's definitely not on this side of the mountain at all, is it? Come on. Come on. Just follow this side of the mound. Please, 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 please. I beg you. God damn it! All right, so that's just going to have to be, like, I don't know, like 700 meters this way, I suppose. Uh, no, a bit further, like that. Yeah, sure, that'll do. Somewhere out there, over the cliff top. So far away, man. That's so far away. I've got the other, like the first one I ever saw, I still never found. That's probably up over the cliffs as well. <sighs> very, very heckin' rude. Now, back to what I was actually doing. Quickly chuck my XP gogs for this bit, because there's a couple of zombies having a snooze. I don't trust the hitboxes, but that one worked out for me. Thank you very much. Should be some more over that side. I can't, ooh, can't quite see the noggins though. Do I, oh, that's a, that, that's almost doable, you know. Mm, nah, I was going to say, do I try and just like kneecap him, but instead clip the wall and not the zombie. Come on, you can do it right there. Look at that little window. Perfect. Come on, look at that bullshit. Boo, hitboxes. All right, well, rather than waste the rest of my lockpicks, uh, rather than waste the rest of my crossbows, I'll waste my lockpicks. I have specced into lockpicking anyway, so may as well just give it a whirl with this. Use the A and D, please, please, Josh, all the way around. Nope, not on that side, so we'll try the other side instead. Come on, give us a little tickle, a little bit. Of, there you go, a little bit of movements. Shit, back a little bit, maybe? Nope. Ah, okay, a little bit further. There, I think. No, come on, you gotta find the exact millimeter that the bloody works. Perfect. Open you up and we'll try this again. Where are you? There. Much better. Chuck my loot and specs on, because everyone's now dead. My job. Ooh! Hang on, why don't I have Idiot Josh? Slap that shit on your noggin so you can actually see some stuff. Don't just carry it around in your pocket and wonder why everything's dim and dark. Anyway, whatever. I've got my loot specs on because everyone's dead and the job is done. Take all of you. Search all this stuff as well. So now, so my level into lockpicking gave me plus 25. Does that mean that I can... What? I... Uh, uh, what? You give me plus 25. Why is that... Why am... Why? Why? Oh, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Whack on the old nerdy specs and we'll try it again. If I can actually do it. There you go. There we are. Okay, it's all fine. We figured it out. And again, everyone relax. We're okay. There we are. That's the ticket. Nice. Didn't want to break my lockpick on an auto pick again. Back to loot and specs to see what you're going to give me. Taylor Station schematic. I mean, it's a workstation. I don't have to research. It's got a star on it, so I'll read you some leather booty boys, which are going to be worse physical armor, but they're lighter, less noise, and the same level. 
I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to sell those or wear those, but I'm just happy to have them, I guess. <laughs> Unless I'm having some options. Quickly break the rest of my uh, my fire axe on all the boxes and skedaddle back to tradies. First thing I'm going to do when I get there is repair my titanium axe. It hasn't lasted nearly as long as I hoped it would, but here's what it is, I suppose. Oh, I'm never going to make any of you. Scrap you for the SD cards. Thank you very much. Nice. Okay, what else is here? Oh, okay. Arrow rests. I'm not using a bow, but... I mean, those specific kind of mods were something as useful as a bow and arrow. I'd like to have the option to make one, should I ever need to later on. Coffee seeds, less so. I'll scrap you for the SD cards and a lock picking book. Uh, you wear this one this time around and read you. Increase my lock picking by one. That, like, the other books, yeah, I can kind of see why you might want to leave them until later, but, like, getting my lockpick level up as quickly as possible seems of the utmost importance. So, absolutely and lootly, take all that stuff with me, too. I'm not even close to being Q-covered because I specced into Pack Mule for the first time in fucking forever. It's the most worthless skill in vanilla seven days, but suddenly in this one, it's actually got some pretty decent value. I'll take that lantern with me. Thank you very much. I've got a couple of boxes left to loot. Up and over we go. Hit you twice, and then the power stroke on the third one. The less hits, I assume, the better. Well, at this point, it's basically a club It's so blunt. Aha! You d Look at that. You don't have the star on you, so I know I've already read you, so I can scrap both of you happily. Sniper volume three. Headshots have a greater chance to stun and a greater chance to dismember. Well, my M14 is pretty bloody dope, so yes, please. Pile of books. Just some paper. Toolbox. Some steel. And I think we are done. Okay. Good. That actually went pretty well, actually. All things considered. Is there a way out of here? No. I'll go out this way then. Never bloody mind. All right, easy as pie. Let's go see Trady, get our money, repair our axe, and start breaking out some steel stuff. Before I go to Traders, actually, because I am basically right next door to that, uh, the ambulance I was trying to break down. Why don't I just finish you off and see what's left in the yard? Um, just to kind of scratch that curiosity. I don't think I get anything particularly good out of it, but it's worth a crack. Last hit, I think. There you go, completely gone. So just like an assortment of random components, as opposed to like any engines or anything particularly fun. Okay, that's fine. Oh, jeez, that's a very ominous thunderstorm up there. I love thunderstorms, though. But I don't own a house because I live in Melbourne and the property market is fucked. But if I owned a house, I would sit on the back deck, drink froths, ooh, some cheeky loot, and watch the thunderstorm roll in every day of my life if I could. They're just, they're just the best things. I love them. I don't know who died here, but I'll see what you got for me anyway. Candlestick. Oh, apparently, Colonel Mustard died out here instead of in the parlor. All right, too easy. Let's go see Trady. Let's get our dollar redos. God, it's only 3 p.m. I feel like I've done so much already, which is impressive given the late start after a horde. Here you are, Trady boy. Still have no idea where your other ammo chest is. Apparently, there's three in every Trader's, and I found two at Red's, and haven't got the foggiest of a sausage of where the other one's going to be. Probably, like, hidden in plain sight, and I've walked past it, like, eight times, but... I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you where it is or how to get to it or what's going to be inside it. So I guess we're just shit out of luck on that front. I'll come back to you in a moment. Hold your horses. All right, Recti, what are you going to give me? What have you got for me? XP Gogs are on. So a baseball bat. No, no. I don't play baseball, I have played cricket. So cricket bat's definitely more my speed. As much as I love baseball bat, I've got a better cricket bat at home and it does more than 20 damage for sure. But it is the more valuable of the two. So, okay, I'll take you plus my $2,000 redos. What other jobs do you have? A fetch, restore power, or buried supplies. The last tier three buried supplies I sent me on was literal garbage. So I'm not particularly super excited about doing it this time around. The other two are restore powers or a fetch. Uh, let's do that one and see how quickly I can go. I still need to go home and, like, drop all my shit off and stuff because I'm a cucumber to shit. Although, buried supplies doesn't really carry that much loot, so I might get away with it. Cost me $1,000. There we are. I've got $1,000 remaining for my... No, that's the wrong one. I forgot the box at the end. $1,000 remaining for my Valkyrie drill. We might actually get this sorted out pretty quick. The bicycle does actually have mod slots. I put that cargo extender mod that I bought from Tradies yesterday into my mini bike, assuming that it was expanding storage, not just like adding storage. But if it's got mod slots, can I put the, uh, the luggage expander onto my bike and have some sort of storage on it? Maybe? I'm, I don't... I don't know. We'll find out when I go back home. No way to know for sure until I give it a whirl. 
Hmm, I don't know. That'd be very interesting. Having some sort of cargo space on the bike would be invaluable. Because I wouldn't have to get so cucumbered all the time. Like, when I'm going mining, chuck it all straight into the bike. Although, I still want to test out my ladder railway theory. Oh! Um, alright. Get out, Arlene. There's a wandering horde heading straight for me. And there's a feral Arlene leading the charge. Well... Can't really. In fact, you know what? I've got time before the rest of your Muppets show up, so I'm actually going to, I'm going to strip all the way down. Strip all the way down with nothing but me goggles so I can get a good look all nice and clear at ya. Oh, you want to come watch as well? Everyone wants to come and watch. All right, fair whackers. <laughs> I'm, I guess I'm done with her for now. Hold on a second. Run behind the rock and... Oh. <gasps> no! Damn it, me! I got way too cocky about dipping my chips in our lead and I left the area of the buried supplies. Do I deserve... What I deserve, got way too arrogant, way too quickly. Fair, fair play. I'll cop that one on the chin. That was my own stupidity. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I wonder, actually, even though I failed the quest, let's pretend I did that deliberately for science, shall we? So I can feel better about myself and not just cry in the shower tonight. Uh, if I failed the quests, like my bike's just here, is there still the treasure underground? The one block that I dug up seems to have disappeared. Oh, the here it is over here. So I know that was kind of like the southwest. So if we do the same thing as before, is the treasure chest still under there? Can I still get the... Well, not like the reward for it, but still get the gubs out of the box? I don't know. We're going to find out now because <laughs> otherwise I wasted that for nothing. I just got excited, you know? A feral alien showed up and I blew her bloody mind. Of course I was going to strip off, make all of her friends watch while I kind of like rejuvenated myself and moisturized myself and everything she had to offer. What's a little showboat in amongst friends? There's the stone layer down at the bottom. The only issue I see here that might make this a bit more difficult than it needs to be is that I'm not going to have the circle creeping in to tell me where it's going to be anymore. But the upside of that, the unexpected upside of that, is that I don't have zombies spawning to ruin my day anymore. So it's just me, my shovel, and the dirty stuff. I don't know. If we can find it and get lucky, I'll invest some time into this. But I still need to go and do some harvesting with my... um. Watch for call it with my brand new ratchet and my uh, harvesting candy. So can't spend all day down here. Although there's some sneaky iron. Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure how far I've gone. We'll do a little swivel in a second. Mm, a little bit further, I think. And then, so I was on the south. I've kind of more to the. What was I more to the? I was more to the north and the south of the circle. So if I turn right out here, I'll get to like the western half. Go like right into the southwest corner. I don't know. If it's not there, then I'm shit out of luck and I'm just going to have to hang my head in shame and accept that <sighs> my rather unfortunate undead habits have got me into some serious strife and wasted a good opportunity to get some more cash to upgrade my Valkyrie drill. That's what this has cost me. Teabag and Arlene has cost me a Valkyrie drill. And that's not normally a trade I would make. Is that the fucking box? It is the box. Does zombies still spawn? Or okay, so the box is still here. That's good to know. Uh, loot and gogs are not on. They are now, though. Have a little squiz. Okay, scrap you. I'll take the insulated liner mod. Not not bad. That's that's good. As times like this, I, I really wish not only that I wasn't a bumper, but also that, you know, I had some dignity. Ah, oh, fuck dignity. Who cares? Who needs it anyway? Because I could edit this. I could edit that out and pretend it never happened and, like, come up with some sort of excuse or just cut out the whole thing and taking the quest in the first place and no one will be of the wiser. Or... I could laugh at myself and leave it in there. Because what a fucking idiot, Josh. God damn. I came back to Trades to explain why he doesn't have his guns okay, anymore. Like, I'm real sorry, but I had to murder some zombies. Room. We'll get along just... You wouldn't understand it because you've been shacked up in here so long. I doubt you've seen a zombie in half a decade. Um, but listen, you might have just murdered everyone, l latched yourself up in here and made yourself a store. Pretend like you earned it somehow. Uh, is there anything you actually want from me? Not really. I have the thousand dollars still for the Valkyrie Jewel, so that's okay. Just is Just what it is, I suppose. Just get the fuck out of here. I will in a second. Do you have anything that's actually kind of tempting in here, though? It destroyed my power office. Now, that, that actually gave me a shitload of SD cards last time, didn't it? I also got the Tudor house, but, like, that one there is right next door to my house. Look, Blocky, don't I don't listen. think I can turn that down. I don't think I can rightfully turn that down. It gave me, like, a thousand SD cards last time. Which, they're super valuable. I'd rather that than the dosh at this point. And that's saying something. Because I'm just a whore for cash. Before I head out, the crickets are chirping, which is a little bit worrying. Quickly modify you. Grab you out of there. Cheese knackers and put it. 
No, put your back away into that. Thank you. I just want to see if I can chuck that onto the bike. I also need to grab my hacker's candy. Just take one of you. It's late in the day, but I want that steel so bad. Not only to make, like, the cement mixer and stuff. Once I... Like, I have to break my ratchet now. What am I doing? I have to break my ratchet. Open you. I can put you in. But it doesn't give me the option to actually open up the, the storage. Okay, well, duly noted then, never mind. Although it does mean that I can now have more things in my bag and still ride the bike. So not completely worthless, still has some sort of value to me. Let's head in somewhere into the middle of town. Let's go over this way, actually, to break down all the street lights. Start. I left my frames at home. Damn it, Josh, go back and get them, please. Uh, but yeah, I need to break my ratchet because a broken ratchet is still usable. But I need lots of steel to make a new ratchet to also uh, make myself the cement mixer. So lots to do. Just a... Just a it's just a whole lot of resources I need to spend over and over again for the same bloody things. In fact, while I'm at it, you know, let's just pull up here. Let's go skills. That one, I've got all the points from the bloody uh, Horde Knight ready to spend. Chuck you back on. Uh, skills, that one. Where were you? Salvage operations. I need more of that. Give me that one, please. Oh, drone special. I could, have a, I could have a DD at some point. Boy, do I want her back. Better barter, actually. I'll take you soon. Shotguns I can't get yet. I want to put more things in the swords when I can, so I'll save some points. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's now 8 o'clock. I'm going to waste some of my um, salvage candies, but that's okay. One more, please. They're up higher than I thought they were. Right, you. Break you. On to the next one. There's a steel plate that I need. Lovely. Uh, why don't I have my uh, hacker's candy perk going for me? I definitely ate one. Where's it gone? Why has it suddenly disappeared for me? I put it down my throat and swallowed it a hole, and now I just don't get the perks of it anymore? Very confusing. I'll put the- it's too late now anyway to go back and get another one, because it's definitely gone for my inventory too. I do not know. I'm gonna go get one now. It's a waste of a candy. Probably also saved me wasting half of it now, plus I put the point into salvage anyway, so not a complete loss. One more. There we go. All the way up. They're higher than I think. Grab you. So how many... I've just grabbed all these without me thinking how much I actually need. I just need... I, need, I know I need bulk steel plates. So just take everything I can and figure it out later. Um, look at them all. Look at all the bloody things here I can get. Where my bike go? Over here. Park closer, please. I wonder if I can get like... Oh, no. The two kind of spread apart, I think. I was going to say, can I get multiples of these street lights from one little pile I built myself? But I don't think so. All the way up to there. Oh, come on, reach a little bit further. Was it too far away now? I can't actually reach it? Shit. One more. The higher you go, the more you can reach out. There you are. All right, next time, Josh, build directly underneath, would you please? Some more steel plates. How many do I actually have now, actually? 22. Done a pretty good job of harvesting all the streetlights along the row. It does mean that, like, eventually I'm going to run out of streetlights in the world. Oh, shit, it's almost nighttime, actually. I'm going to run out of streetlights in the world for me to go and... I'll reach it, please. Go and harvest up for all the steel. So getting a crucible sooner rather than later is pretty bloody important. Speaking of important, so is my stamina. All right, I'll do this one street light and we'll go back home. Oh, man. That's a, that's a lot of effort to get some. I'm not sure if I have enough to do what I need to do, but I had some more from the other day. That 36 I bought from traders on day dot, so helpful. It's about to tick over to night time. There's the ominous tone, but that's all good. Just keep your head on a swivel. Make sure they're not spawning all around you. Now that I have... Like, it's kind of the reason that I... Oh, yeah, some of us spawned in the car park already. And a doggo out there as well. Most of the reason that I built myself some sort of way to defend a horde inside my house to start with, rather than building something separate that, in fairness, wouldn't have really been possible given the limitations of Under Legacy. But half that reason was just because then if I do get discovered during the night time, there is a barrier and a way for me to actually fight the hordes in my house. You can take all of that. That's a lot of steel, actually. Who's barking and balking down there? Oh, it's a zombie fight going on. All right, well, whoever wins will die. He's not dead yet. I can see the bleeding eyes of the wolf getting really excited about chomping on his bloody femur. But look, I'll take care of that for you. And then... Oh, he, ju he jumped and I shot him in the leg. Oh, he's just fucking everyone up today. Dude's got a bloody blood loss, I wouldn't believe. I doubt that's a chew toy you really put in your mouth, though. Can't imagine zombies taste that nice. I can hear someone climbing up the ladder downstairs. I've just been up here murdering a couple of zombies. There's a scomo down there somewhere behind the wall, cowering like the scomo that he is. But it has drawn in a little bit of attention. Oh, my frame rate's ass. It's a feral Nance. <laughs> 
something so satisfying about that. I never actually went and uh, repaired up the brick bars out there. Either. They're probably pretty fucked up. Come on, Nance. Where are you? Come back upstairs, please. No? Come on, you know where I am. You just, you just ignored me now. You're mad at me now. Jeez, you came home with me in the middle of the night and I gave you a good bonker with my club and you just, you just left me on red. You just ghosted out of my life. Who are you? Every one of my ex-girlfriends? I do want to go and harvest that doggo if I can. There's a couple of zombies around, but nothing to be too worried about. I do have lots of ammunition to spare if I do get into some strife. So, quick quiz. Oh, out straight through that. Need to like open up that barbed wire a bit more for me, I think. Yeah, no one's out here. We're all good and nice and peaceful butchering out in the grass. Not particularly clean, but I'll cook it all the way anyway. Back up we go. Up to them. Good. Okay. So I need to sort out my steel. I need to build myself. <sighs> do I do it now? I mean, you're kind of half fucked. So maybe... What are, what are you looking at? Down the bottom? Yeah, about halfway cooked. So I could just use it to upgrade that one. How much steel do I have? That's kind of the more important question. You, no, put the search bar back on, please. And the Waikai. Steel. Got 59 steel. Everything seems to be done in blocks of 20, so yeah, okay. What do I actually need to upgrade you then? Just a hammer and some nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts and a hammer. It's almost like I was prepared for this earlier. I will need another hammer to. Oh, wait, do you use the hammer I'm currently holding to upgrade you? You might just. Oh, goodbye, so many valuable things. Upgrade you. T2 done. Now, can I please make myself a cement mixer? That one. I could, but I'm short of iron plates. I can make some more of those, though. Don't you worry about it. I can only make 12, but while you sort that out, I'll go and cook your bonks and loggers downstairs again. So that's giving me 29 iron plates, and I need 25. So right on the nip, craft you. Oh, that was an expensive journey. But we've got a cement mixer now. I just need to find a place to put you. Um, I suppose, like, like, these boxes down on the bottom are no longer used for anything. So I can probably get rid of this one especially. Take those and just use that to chuck in whatever. Slowly, like, take away these cardboard boxes. Repair it. Why the shit would I repair it? You know what? No. You know what? No. If, it, if I'll use the shovel instead to save my axe. If you've got to be difficult, I'll just get rid of you. Get rid of you So I think you have a home in here, actually, do you? Yep, there you go. In like that, in like that. And how are you doing? This is going to be good. If I finally have some proper building materials, life gets a bit better. Actually, before I forget as well, you are harboring all of the books that I found over the journey. So, knives and swords. Three of you. Mining tools. Healing. And two shotguns. That's a lot of points I just got for a lot of things. God, you guys just can't leave me alone, can ya? I haven't been down here making a ruckus in a while. You keep just showing up, knocking on the door. I didn't order any food, nor anything else, so I don't know why you guys are coming over. Leave me alone for a tick. Give me that, give me that, and whack you in like... Ooh, you know what, actually? Give me all of you, and I'm going to pick you up and move you, because I want to put the cement mixer in the corner like that. Looks a bit daft like that at the moment, I know, but uh, it'll be fine once everything else gets out of the way. So all I'm missing now... I've got three car wheels. What do I need for the car repair kit? It's been like the overarching goal of my entire life since day two. One more wheel and I can make the car repair kit and I can get my 240. That's how close we are to that now. We can finally get that JDM nug of hotness and go sideways around all the corners and hopefully wrap ourselves around a particularly strong pole. We're so close. So one more car wheel. Can I get that for some breaking down cars? Because there's that giant car park up at the working stiffs up here. That's just chock a block full of all sorts of wheeled goodness. Can I just go there with my uh, my hackers canning and break it all apart? I really hope I can. Speaking of breaking things apart though, I need another ratchet because I spent mine. You. I've got just enough to do it. In fact, wait, what? Did the... You didn't cost me any steel at all? Fucking Rigi did, cop cop. Okay, well, give me my ratchet back, please, because I need one. Craft you. What was the other thing I needed steel for then? I thought I needed steel, like bulk steel for lots of things, and now I can't really remember, though I assume. Crucible. You would need iron plating. A thousand research data, which. Okay, pretty expensive. Fair whackers knackers, but. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, I'm alright with that. I think I heard the very ominous sounds of a... Yeah, a doggo been in my house at the moment. 
I mean, I didn't think I ordered food. We're probably getting steak delivered. No, nah, it doesn't sound like there's anyone coming for me, so that's all good. Can I just take the route that the zombies will take? Oh! I can. I'm not very good at it, though. Apparently, the zombies have more coordination than I do. Although, given my recent spate of always breaking my ankle at every opportunity, that should be zero surprising to anybody. Can I, like, go like this, then? It's going to hurt a little bit, but I just want to drop down to them. That's much better way of doing it. Push it on it the first time. Look at him. I was just down here harvesting up this bloody wolf. And look at it. Look at him just, like, something about the dead eyes and the smile. The bloody demon squirrel is always there watching, judging, and plotting my demise, you cheeky sod. Anyway, let's get back up into my house. Open that. Jump on over. Don't mind having a little access point there either, actually. It works out pretty well for me. In fact, you know what? Here. Pat, pat, pat. Please placate your temper for another week or so. What do you need to make concrete? Stone powder. Crafted in the mortar and pestle. I have one of those. Somewhere. Wait, right there, actually. Stone powder. Make bulk. Uh, okay, that's going to take a little while to do. So let's just go like 150 of that. Leave some stones left over for other things. Definitely don't want to use my large stones, though. Those are important. But I get you cracking on. And just give me like 10 of you. There you are. 10 of you. And I quickly chuck you into here. Concrete mix. 10, 10, 10 will give me 10. So it's one to one across the board. Not too shabby about that, actually. That's pretty good. Actually, somehow, with all the things that I have around the place, it's now... I can now make concrete, and I assume, therefore, concrete blocks easier than I can make brick? Can I just go straight to concrete? Conk. I need a tier 2 artisan's table, and it's only 5 per pop. Whereas the... Wait, no, the bricks are 5 on pop as well, but they also use the clay, so it's actually 6 clay per block... So it's more efficient just to go straight to concrete? Okay. But I need to upgrade you. What are you going to cost me? 50 concrete mix, iron plating. That's that's doable. That's definitely bloody doable. Uses books, but I have plenty. Uses SD cards, which I'm running out of now. Interesting. So yeah, it turns out like resetting the uh, the robotics place across the road to get all those SD cards again. Definitely a good call. But I'm going to have to go and reset that place, get the SD cards, break things down for some steel, go and break down some cars to get some wheels out of it as well. And hopefully, fingers bloody cross, finally, we will get out to 40. Oh, it's so close. I can always taste the exhaust fumes. But I have to come back and slurp up that exhaust pipe in the next episode. Also, don't do that. It's really bad for you. In the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you then first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.